Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another Root Solutions video. I'm Rory Bocott and today I'm going to be running through how to set up and to install Creo 3. Um, so the first thing that you're going to need is either a Creo installation disk or um, sort of the download files which you can get from the PTC website. Uh, I'll probably provide a link to that in the description. Um, the process for both of these in the setting up is exactly the same so it doesn't matter how you obtain your file. Um, it's all the same process. So I've got an installation disk here, so I'm just going to insert the CD, click on my DVD drive, uh, and these are the setup files. To run the setup, I'm going to right click on setup.exe and then run this as, as administrator. This can save uh, some complications um, further on down the line. So if you'd run it as administrator, that should um, avoid any uh, issues that may occur. Okay, once the installation assistant has appeared, uh, we're going to install new software and uh, we're going to hit next. I'm going to check uh, I accept the licensing agreement and check this box down here as well and again hit next. Uh, now this page is where we input the licensing information so here I have on my desktop uh, a license file, you should look fairly familiar to this if you have one um, and it's just a .txt file so if I open up that up, we can see the different types of licenses I have for this machine. Uh, so close that off and all we need to do is I'm going to click and drag this license file into this bottom text box here and I'm going to let this just take effect so it should say installing license server um, probably going to pause the video here and let this install and I'll resume once it's done okay so the license server uh, has now installed and you can see that by the status it's saying now available so the license server basically just hosts this file um, so when we run Creo, Creo can then see this license and, uh, and we just know it's a legal version of the software. Um, so once that's done, I'm going to hit next. And let this catch up. Okay, uh, and on this web page we now choose what we're going to install. So I'm currently just going to install Creo Parametric. I'm not going to bother with Simulate. Um, you can obviously choose uh, whichever, ones you like, you, whichever ones you want to install. Um, once you're done, hit install, Creo will then run through and install uh, the various versions of the software. So again, I'm going to pause this uh, and let it run through its thing uh, and then I'll resume the video once, once it's all completed. Okay, so now that's installed, um, Creo should be good to run. Um, the installation will also put um, shortcuts on your desktop automatically, so uh, I haven't put those on there, they've just popped up as the installation is finished. So if I hit next, finish now, um, just let that close down properly uh, and let's launch Creo. So double click on the icon and that should then launch. And so this can um, vary in time both with the installation and the Creo, just depending on the sort of machine you have. Um, so just bear with it. It seems to be taking a while. Okay, that's from a previous use, so don't worry about the error message. Um, if Creo opens up without any error message at all, um, that's what we want, um, that's as it should be. Um, you'll know if it's not worked, you'll get a licensing error pop up in the middle of this page. Um, but apart from that, if everything's um, opened correctly, um, it all should be good. Uh, if you have any questions, um, obviously leave stuff in the comments. Uh, we'll try and get around to answering those as quick as possible. Um, but again, thank you for watching. Um, I'll see you again next time.